Hey peeps, Jess here, and for today's entry in the Craft Chocolate Maker series, where we talk about the craft chocolate makers, you ought to know, we're talking about Soul Cacao Chocolate. Soul Cacao was founded in 2014 by the Maloney Brothers, and they are one of the few chocolate makers in the South Bronx. And what makes them kind of unique is this is the entire lineup. That's it. They're all two ingredient bars, the range is 70 to 72%, and so we'll just go through everybody. This is a first impression video. I don't normally do those where I haven't tried the brand, but as this is one of the eight black owned bean to bar brands in the entire United States for craft chocolate, I at least wanted to include one of them in my entire video series here. Because not only are none on the West Coast, this isn't even sold in Seattle. I had to order from Puyallup to get this. Puyallup, a town so small that it's mainly known for the state fair. Thank you Trove Provisions for even carrying these. I'll include a link to them below so you can get them. But let's try some chocolate. First we're going to start with the 72% Madagascar because it's the only 72. The other two are 70% bars. And even before we get started I just want to talk about how pretty the artwork is. It looks like it might be watercolor, just really nice. This is from Atkinson's Farm in Madagascar. Most of the chocolate from Madagascar comes from this location. It has very like, classic red berry notes it's like cherry and raspberry. Nice. Ah, oh, we have a golden ticket. It's not a big bar. Like most bars weigh about this much. It's a 50 gram bar, but it feels very small. So I do like that it's broken into 12 pieces. That's a nice setup for, for sharing. Smells super woody. Bit worried. We've had a bit of a melt issue this week, so I'm a little concerned. Cheers. This feels like a bar of contradictions because it's a very creamy opening bar, but then it's also very astringent. As to see if you knew that term, it's kind of like with red wine tannins, where it's this drying out of the palate. I can feel kind of tart, sour, so I'm making faces now. And that level of astringency is what I think of like with an, a good 80%. It's very front forward, and also then you get the berry notes behind it. So you get that cherryness, and then you also have the really strong tannin notes happening at the same time. I feel this is a bar where you'll take one look at the red wine menu and you're like, what's the driest red you can give me? This is going to be the same feeling in chocolate. Next, we're gonna try out the 70% from Ecuador. Always excited to try an Ecuador bar. They tend to be very earthy, sweet, fun. Also, I really like the art here. I really wonder if one of the brothers is doing this because this is really well done. Same mold, though I can smell the coffee. Oh boy. Nice, nice temper. Here we go. That is the sound you want to hear from a 70%. So I'm getting like a chemical note, but a lot of like whiskey funk. If we're gonna be really snooty, it reminds me immediately of there's this bean from San Martin. I'm probably mispronouncing that. That gets like this very whiskey fermented funkiness that I don't necessarily associate with Ecuador, but I am intrigued now. Cheers. Whoa, it's so woody. It's like mesquite. I'm just breathing mesquite smoke. It's very mesquite smoky woody with this creamy finish. My initial thoughts on like that sort of chemically smell are making me think very much, this needs to go with a whiskey. I, I don't drink. I feel like I should ask my friend Shay and see what she says because she does a lot of alcohol pairings and I feel like she would know exactly what to do. I think if you want something that sort of just goes the same flavors of whiskey and scotch, that's like, your new bar. I just, not, well, I was not ready for that. I was expecting a far more muted experience. I was just like, no, be ready. I've never been so glad to bring warm water between tastings, because otherwise I would not be able to taste a thing right now. All right, last, not least, we have the Peru 70%, which I'm actually really curious to see how this goes, because the tasting notes here say sweet floral notes, almonds and walnut, and I usually get a really, really strong raisin note from Peru bars. So since there's not even a mention of raisins, what are we getting into here? Still not over that mesquite though. Broken bar. It happens. It does smell very floral, but it's floral with some mustiness. Cheers. That is not the bar I was expecting at all. There's the bitterness, but also this lovely floral overnote. And I got a fair, like a wash of what I consider to be like the red winey, raisiny notes I associate with Peru. A lot happened and it was also very fast. Unlike the intensity of the Ecuador, this is more like boop, boop, boop. 
I feel like if you want something that's a bit more subtle but still has a lot going on that you kind of think through, the Prue is the bar for you. I kind of want to have it with a green tea. Like I feel like a jasmine might actually be really fun to offset that floralness and intensify it. Or maybe even something delicate like a silver needle to just bring that really light flavor into the combination. Yeah, it feels like it's just like a good green tea bar. So those are some of my thoughts on Soul Cacao. I would personally like to see a bigger lineup from them, mainly because I'm an inclusions geek and I like my chocolate with stuff in it. And so if they took, say, that lovely Ecuador bar and maybe added some cacao nibs, I could see that being really good. And with that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you tried Soul Cacao? What did you think of them? Or do you have a recommendation for a brand you'd like to see me cover next? I have one on the docket and it is literally the most expensive bar of chocolate I have ever bought. And with that, I will catch you next time. Later! If anything, try the Ecuador. That is one of the most amazingly intense bars out of left field I've had in some time. That was really fun. Thank you, Soul Cacao.